Okay, YouTube. I've been seeing a lot of uh, people asking, how do you record Crossfire at DX Story, or the recording software, or the or DX Story, DX Story, however you pronounce it. Um, and it seems to be a big problem uh, that they can't record Crossfire, and I've been seeing quite around, so I tried it for myself, <clears throat> and I haven't been successful uh, at, re at recording Crossfire till now. Um, and, uh, before I go through all this, if there is a uh, actual proper fix, or if it's, if, if it's a new update in the software that you can actually record Crossfire properly, um, please put it in the comments below so that, um, we could, uh, I could, I could update everyone on this, or you could, uh, hopefully everyone likes your comments so that it's visible at the top that Crossfire is not recordable. Um, but as of now, I, uh, the, on the forums and everything, uh, there has been no luck at uh, recording uh, Crossfire, and uh, that has been a big issue. And so you're obviously here to find out well, how do you record on Crossfire, how do you record it. So I'm going to tell you how to record Crossfire, um, and uh, hopefully you can enjoy recording your gameplay at, at full frames per second, um, as the software allows you, allows you to do. Um, now there's a few things to do this to keep in mind. Um, your hotkey. Now, of course, you you're gonna know your hotkey to record uh, the video, but you gotta you gotta have your hotkey button. I would, I would say have a finger ready on your hotkey um, because uh, when you record something or a game with this software, you're gonna have you're gonna have uh, some target information, and that's uh, usually a big uh, hint to as if it has sensed or if it knows that program is there or if it's targeted on um, like if I was playing Battlefield it would say target information for Battlefield so if I push the record button it will start recording um, but with when I tested out the crossfire um, to see uh, what the commotion was about I didn't see any target information um, and so an easy way I solved this uh, with this method was just to wait and see in, if any point in the game the target information is visible and if when it is uh, it's enough time for me to even push the record button and and the good news is yes it is the bad news well I wouldn't say it's bad news I think you could if you have the patience um, you won't you won't consider it bad news because being able to play the game at full speed while recording is too big of a plus to hate on anything. So how to do it? Um, I'm gonna click on my crossfire icon, um, and I'm running Windows 7, so I have to run it as administrator. As soon as I click this, the video is gonna cut off because it just likes because it just does that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, it's back up. Um, like always, you gotta click start. Now, another thing to keep in mind, um, this, when you click start and Crossfire starts to load up, it will bring this, uh, window down. Well, I like to have it ready, uh, so I can click it to come back up, cause we need to see when the target information pops up. And I'm gonna cue you in when it does, uh, so that you know when it pops up. Uh, for some reason, it works best if you when you open this back up and push F9 uh, or whatever your record button is, um, and then uh, the Crossfire will start recording. And I'll show how that's done. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna wait for it, and Crossfire is gonna slap it down. I'm gonna bring it back up, and you see the information. Push F9 or whatever your hotkey is to record and then you'll see over here that it's now an orange number which means it's recording and as you see here now the target, target information is gone uh, as, as if it can't detect it but we already have the record started so we don't give a crap uh, so with that said uh, you are now recording crossfire um, from that point on the drawback though is that when you are recording like this, um, it no longer detects uh, crossfire is there. So if you want to stop recording, 
uh, you can't push that hotkey because it's like, what are you talking about? I'm not recording anything. It's because there's no, it's not targeted on anything. So uh, what you have to do is basically close Crossfire, and that's how it stops recording. As soon as you close Crossfire, um, and also it stops and starts recording on its own during the loading screen of games. Uh, so keep that in mind. So basically, uh, if you have a lot of space on your desktop. Uh, this won't be so much of an issue. So basically, you'll be recording from right from the get go of the start, uh, right through the games. Um, and so if so, if you want to record a bunch of multiple games, uh, if you have a huge hard drive, then you could just keep recording all the way through because this doesn't drop your frames per second. Um, but if you don't want all your videos together and you have to edit them out later. Uh, then what you'd have to do is actually exit Crossfire and restart it and catch that uh, recording point, which isn't too hard to catch. Um, and then get back into that game that you wanted to. Hopefully your friends or your clanmates are in there so that you can just quickly join back and then start it all up. Another thing to keep in mind is that this sometimes gives errors um, when you start Crossfire. It'll say, it'll ask you to send an error report to Z8 or whatever. Uh, but you just keep do, you just keep going. Uh, like here, I just did it in one shot. It usually doesn't take that many times. Usually it is just a one shot in. Um, but if you do get an error, you can just try again. Uh, I hope I helped. Uh, you guys record Crossfire. Um, and enjoy.